Hi, this is Brett Statham. I've got a Raspberry Pi 2 running Windows 10 IoT Core build 10.0.10586. And uh, just the other day they announced an update to this, revision.63, uh, that should be getting pushed down uh, to the Pi automatically. Uh, and I have actually gone through a successful automatic update, but I wanted to walk through doing a manual update here. Uh, so first of all, in the camera view there on the screen, you can see that I've got my Pi running uh, and uh, a small screen attached. We don't really need to see the Pi anymore. So I'll go ahead and just take the camera and close in a little bit more. Uh, on the screen there, see if I can get it to refocus for me, perchance. Uh, and so on there you can see that it's currently running uh, 10.0.10586.0, so that's the current build on that. Uh, also you can see that I'm seeing it in my IoT Core Watcher, and I'm going to go ahead and pop open the uh, management portal for that. All right, and uh, this is just a, a brand new, uh, fresh build. I haven't done anything else to it. I literally just flashed it a couple of minutes ago. So we can see the default name of MinWin uh, PC popping up there. And uh, I'm going to, in the management portal here, come down to the Windows Update tab and hit Check for Updates. And that's likely going to take a little bit of time, so I'm going to go ahead and pause the video here. Uh, notice at least in Pi time right now, it's 9.04 a.m. All right, and I'm back, and you can see on Pi Time now it's 9.32 a.m. Now, I'd actually just sort of sat there and left it for uh, about the past 25 minutes uh, and was wondering if it was going to update or not. So I went ahead and uh, just uh, clicked on the Check for Updates button again, uh, and then when I went back to the Windows Update page by clicking on the Windows Update link, now it shows me the uh, your device is scheduled to restart. So I'm not sure if that was coincidental uh, or if I needed to sort of refresh the page to get it to update uh, and tell me that. But I can see that there is now uh, an update required and that it's set me to automatically schedule at 3.30 a.m. Uh, now, I don't want to wait for that, so I'm going to go ahead and hit the Restart Now button. And uh, while I do that, let's... Uh, Let's get it where I can see the pie here as well. So I'll drag this over here to the left and just hit the uh, Restart Now button. And uh, zoom out a little bit here on the page too so that the page looks a little bit better. Uh, but we should see the pie reboot here uh, shortly. And there it goes. beautiful screen all right I can see my spinning circle down there at the bottom and we then come into this gear view and you can kind of see that progress bar uh, going through the bottom there. So I think the last time I, I have attempted this in the past, I think the last time I went through this, uh, this first pass uh, of the update took about 10 minutes or so. So again, I'm going to go ahead and pause the screen uh, and we'll wait for that to continue. All right. Well, the second half of that progress bar went a lot faster than the first half, but overall, it looks, uh, at least on Pi time, like that took about 17 minutes or so uh, to go through that process. And so now I can see it booting back up to Windows. And now that the default app is loaded, uh, you can see now here the OS version is in fact 10.0.10586.63. So it looks like the update uh, completed successfully. Now one other thing I wanted to mention is if you want to check that version remotely, uh, you can enter into a, a rat, or sorry a remote PowerShell session. Uh, and so here I can see the IP address of my Pi is 192.168.2.18. Uh, and so I've just got a little PowerShell script here that's going to connect me up and log me in as the administrator uh, on that remote PowerShell session. So I'll run that selection. And log in with the default credentials. And the remote PowerShell session takes a few seconds here to get uh, uh, completed. 
All right, and now that it's completed, I've got another uh, set of commands here preloaded. So uh, I actually stole this off of a Stack Overflow post. Uh, but this um, actually gets the complete version inf information, including the revision. Uh, there's other ways to, de to determine the version information from the command line, uh, but none of them were returning uh, the version information, or the revision, I should say, information for me. So this statement uh, will go in and do that for me. So if I run that, I can see that I am, in fact, now at .63. Uh, on the Windows uh, 10586 revision number. Awesome. Well, so that's how I, you can manually update uh, your Windows 10 IoT Core uh, Raspberry Pi running uh, uh, version 10.0.10586 uh, to the latest 10.0.10586.63 update.